Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, we're gonna create a procedural fork. Um, basically, we don't need to start from scratch. Uh, we already have the base from previous setup, uh, which is like a like a procedural spoon. So yeah, I just continue from there. It's actually pretty easy and simple. Um, I'll show you like a few gotcha along the way, but uh, let's see. Let's have a look. So. We actually have three different parts here, the blue, green, and yellow. I'll hide it. Uh, I held them first. So we have, we start with this guy. This guy is based on the previous setup. So it's the spoon. We have seven extrusions. Um, we use this extrude region and then we can always, you know, scale. We can always uh, change all the setting here if you want to, you know, like, put it to the back or something and maybe scale it make it thicker whatever so that's the basic ideas what's happening next is that uh, we have this top part so I think I'm actually selecting the mesh element by location and in this in this case by the side so with the directions uh, 0, 0, 1, which means uh, select the top part of this uh, mesh and based on that, that one we can mask the vertices and here I'm actually using adaptive polygon and um, new plane and the, with the plane I'm dividing it into three so I actually, what I did here, I have a plane and with the plane I subdivide it with a subdivided plane like this, I can easily extrude it up separately like that. So that's what I did basically. And using extrude separate, this is what I get. So you might notice that there is no connection whatsoever from this guy to that guy. So in reality, you really want to have some kind of nice topology running here. Maybe, maybe something like this if I draw it real quick. Um, and then here I cut it, something like that. Um, but we don't need to worry about that yet. So I basically have this extrusion and then I clean it up with delete loose and then I extrude region, just the top part. I extrude it up a little bit so I get this uh, yellow part. Um, this is actually accidental. The, the, the top part is a little bit accidental. What, what I mean is that so with scale 0 it looks like this, you know, this is like normal height. But if I scale it, seems like it keeps the some kind of transformation here. So it's kind of scaling down based on the center of this, uh, the average of this three polygon. So that's actually kind of okay. That's actually better for this uh, fork. And yeah, like I said, you can always go back and in this case, Fork actually works pretty well, so you can uh, make it thicker and maybe a little bit bigger, whatever. Um, this, um, oh yeah, if you make more subdivision, you have you can have more like like a crazy looking fork or maybe just two, three. This is actually quite interesting. Um, this can be like a finger, like a hand as well, like four finger if you have. You add another thumb you, you you're gonna have like a like a, an arm proper arm um, yes yeah, so let's see what else so we can extend that bit the problem with the extrude separate faces is that we, we don't we don't have the ability to split this guy uh, it would be nicer to have split uh, for the fork um, but we don't have that we have uh, this height oh, okay so if we are done with this, uh, really, you bake them one by one, and they're like kind of separate, and you join them together. You know, Control J, Edit, Remove Double. There's a bit of funny thing here. There's an extra phase here. That's basically because of this uh, extra region somewhere. Mm, this guy. This guy keeps the original polygon, that's why you have this uh, extra polygon face. 
Yeah, I don't quite like that. This is like it should be optional. I'll delete that. So now we have the top bit with the top part and this guy really there's only one thing kind of missing um, inside stretch of um, operations is the bridging the bridging of um, face like this for example I have this face covering the top and I go to this guy um, go to edit mode and we now we have face here if I join them together and I go to edit mode select this select this I can easily bridge them so mesh um, bridge edge loop and I get this result and there's a option here open loop loop pair uh, whatever I think open loop oops error what well, well anyway this is uh, the result so that's kind of nice supposed to supposedly would be nice to have that options inside of Spreadshop, like a way to bridge stuff. Currently, we don't have it yet, so there must be another way to do this, um, just to make the connection. Otherwise, I guess this is uh, pretty much how you would approach um, to make a fork. Okay, of course, this is like maybe a little bit dodgy. I mean, it's not like the best looking fork, but still, uh, everything is procedural. It's really just a matter of um, tidy thing up tidy this a little bit um, I don't know make it a little bit more rounded yeah that's not too bad you need, really it's not too bad you can always take this I'll give you the setup and then you make modifications and you have a fork and if, if, if you have 3d printer you can print it out it's a dodgy looking fork but still you know it's pretty cool that you can do this uh, remember that whoops just crashes. Uh, I'll quickly open Blender again. Um, I'll show you one more um, example. I'll reopen Blender real quick. So you have fork and you have spoon. Um, you can print it out basically. Oops, not this guy. Number six, file save as seven. So let's say I'll hide this and then let's say I, let's use something funky, multi extrude add on. And then remember this guy. If you plug this guy in there with the faces, and then you give this guy to that guy show, and you use a list mask actually at least a uh, range integer plug into this guy I think you're gonna get something pretty interesting like that um, so one thirty four five we don't have the offset Start step count, okay, count. Show, okay. Yeah, it's interesting, it's kind of scaled down as well. Okay, I forgot. This should be the one that goes in there. And one, two, three, four. And so we have this, and um, let's scale this. This is some kind of uh, crazy looking fork. You can offset it, rotate it, scale the noise, probability, randomize the seed, repeat many, many times. Okay, yeah, so you can have crazy fork like this, of course. No problem there. Um, yeah, so you can see um, this can be very very powerful um, what is this look like a like a crazy a sausage finger or something um, uh, yeah but anyway this is just an idea Let's give it a 
Yep, that's weird. That's really weird. Um, and of course, once you have the fork like this, you can al also twist this and whatever, you know, like give it um, some kind of a curve modifier or something. Um, yeah, so if you have like Susan head, you can put it on the fork and you can print it out. That's uh, an art piece idea there. Okay, so hopefully uh, you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.